All right, welcome back to another video to help you break into cybersecurity. Some things are optional in this world, some things are required, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think a Security Plus is required for those looking for the most efficient way to break into cybersecurity. Stay through to the end because the last one is a banger. With that, let's go ahead and dive in. CompTIA Security Plus is the one of the most well-known certifications. That in its own right, is great, right? That's great for you trying to shop around, trying to figure out how to break into this thing we call cybersecurity. So let's start with the first reason why I think this is a great certification. So first of all, there are tons of study materials out there. CompTIA, Security Plus, CompTIA in general has been around for a while. And that means there's lots of materials for you to start studying. Professor Messer is one of the big people out there that is putting free content out there for the world to use. And it's great, high quality stuff. I don't know what the count of people that have passed using this material, but I guarantee you it is a lot. Now with that in mind, you can also have the option of going to your local library and checking out books. The materials, if you bought them off of Amazon today, might run you a hundred bucks between a study guide, big study guide, and the practice test questions, which I definitely encourage you to do before the exam. That's a lot of money, but uh, you should be able to get it for free at your local library or just getting the stuff from Professor Messer and other people who focus on these entry level certifications. Now, with that, let's talk about something I just mentioned, which is that they've been around for a while. They're trusted by the industry, by organizations because of that longevity. They have dialed in on that expertise. They bring in industry experts to help them make the test questions for other people. They also have dialed in the exam taking process, which helps assure business owners that the people that have the certification didn't cheat to get it. So that's huge, right? We have to trust a certification if it's going to be something that's utilized for job listings for, you know, just understanding the depth of someone's knowledge. So we have to have trust in its ability to maintain that integrity. And not only that, we have to trust that it has the materials that are appropriate for the industry that it's for, right? So for this one, they bring in these experts, they're constantly uh, updating the materials. And I think every couple of years, they have a new version every two or three years. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's pretty, pretty recent. So the materials are relevant to the work today. They're trusted. You know, that speaks for itself. Now, the third thing is that it is relatively affordable as a whole. So if we look at the top of the most expensive ones, we have SANS several thousand dollars, I think $7,000 and some change today. This one sits at a few hundred bucks uh, itself. So that's huge. A lot of, ex well, a lot of people starting out don't have the money to shed out thousands of dollars. I know I don't, I didn't when I started out. So this is something you should really be considering price point. And it's something you can save up for in a relatively shorter time, uh, especially while you're studying for it, you can save up the money and then pay for your exam voucher. But the bonus here is that if you're in school today, a lot of these universities and colleges and technical schools are supplementing the cost of the exam voucher partially or fully. So that's something to also consider. You're getting these for free or even lower cost than the actual market value of the certification. So easy. Now, the fourth and final thing, I, well, not final. The fourth thing I want to point out here is that it will lay the foundations of your future studies. This was the second certification that I completed on my journey over a decade ago. And it is number two of 18 total that I have. And I assure you, it gave me the information that I needed to build to where I am today. And that speaks volumes, right? A lot of people say, take this net plus, take the A plus, takes, you know, Google or whatever. And, you know, these other CompTIA ones are specific for other things. Maybe if you're going networking route, good option for net plus. If you're going to the IT route, A plus is great. But the security plus teaches you to do just enough of all these different subjects related to cybersecurity, lay the foundations for your future studies. That's what's important here, right? There's so much we can learn. There's so deep uh, we can go in the subject matter, but we don't need to, not at the beginning. We need to have a broad understanding of things that are tangently related 
related to us, and then start building on top of that for whatever the career, whatever our path that we choose. So I think it's perfectly laid out in that aspect. And it teaches you everything from policies to malware to the history of what we do, basic networking, you name it, it's going to cover it and cover it enough so that you can start learning more stuff. Now, with the fourth one, that brings us to number five, our final point about why this exam is so great and you should seriously be giving it consideration for your first exam. So in the world of business, in the world of studying and trying to break into an industry, we want to be the most efficient that we can be because studying takes time. Everything takes time. And if we don't use that time wisely, the horizon for us breaking in is going to extend and extend and extend. Now, what we can do to shorten that time is look at what the industry is actually asking for right? How do we do that? We look at job listings. So take a peek at job listings. I encourage you to stop this video, go do it right now. Look at job listings for junior SOC analyst roles, cyber junior cybersecurity roles, and see how often the Security Plus pops up in these job listings compared to everything else. Give it about five minutes of scrolling and counting. I guarantee you that nothing else will come close. I did this probably six months, maybe a year ago where I actually counted. And it wasn't even close. It was more than a five to one ratio to the next closest one. This is this is the biggest certification you can get starting out. It's asked for everywhere. The government requires it as one of the ones for entry-level roles, you can't go wrong, people. If you're looking for an efficient quality certification, this is it. There's no contest at it, contest for it at all. So go fact check me, I encourage you, but I also encourage you to get in there and start studying today. Don't wait, do it. Now with that, we'll end the video. I wish you absolute luck on your journey, getting in the cybersecurity, and I can't wait to hear your story of how you broke in. Now with that, I wanna go ahead and remind you to like, share, and subscribe, all those things you're supposed to do if you wanna learn hands-on cybersecurity skills. Join me on Thursdays for my live stream where we look at pen testing, we look at SOC analyst work, forensics, you name it. If it's technical, we dive in, we look at it, and we teach you real skills that you can follow along with, and it's a chance for you to ask questions. With that, let's end this video. We'll see you in the next one.